CEO Ron Oka from Creative Difference. I got my man Dustin Zinner and we got a ball surface scanner here. So check this out. We have a 1000 grit true cut by CTD sand inside of a bowling ball. And I want to show you exactly what that looks like. You can actually see the sanding lines in this bowling ball, okay? Conversely, if you flip that bowling ball over, we have a 1000 Aberlon size sanded bowling ball. So let me show you what that looks like so you can get a real good feel for it. Now, let me show you the pads. So these are the two sanding pads that were used to get this surface. This is the Aberlon pad, and you can see that loading. See the loading right there? Actually, when that happens, that it destroys the ball's ability, or the pad's ability to continue to cut. The same amount of time on the true cut by CTD pad, you can see that the dust has somewhere to go, which allows the cutting to continue. How does that matter? What does that really mean? Well, here's how it matters. When you want to begin to start to look at the surface of the bowling ball, that's where it matters. You can see there's a 1,000 grit surface being red right there. That is what the true cut by CTD surface is on the bowling ball. But here's the other kicker. What about the Avalon side? Does the 1,000 grit Avalon pad actually end up leaving a 1,000 grit surface on the bowling ball? Well, as you can see, it doesn't. It's about 3,000 grit. So now you can tell the difference between what a 1,000 grit true cut by CTD side looks like and a 3,000 grit Aberlon side looks like. Two completely different surfaces, even though the pad numbers stay the same. If you want more information, make sure you check out ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Creating the Difference. Have a great day.